You know, in the future, I hope to work as a director. I never really saw myself doing anything else. Hi, my name is Memo Mora, and I am the director of Robolona. Hi, my name is Tiara, and I'm the director of Our Light Shines Through the Dark. Hello, everybody. I'm Nico. I'm the director of The Take. My name is Anal Chapman, and I'm the director of Window to the Soul. We did aerial shots, we did car mounted shots, we did dolly shots where the setup is literally just grab the phone, unlock it from the tripod, go walk it over here. Really, you can shoot anything on an iPhone. It's just about are you doing the work to make it look how you want it to? Whoa! I think Nico took a very much visual approach with the idea of vertical storytelling. All of his compositions were arranged with verticality in mind. Whereas Memo's is very vertical in terms of like the story because of the relationship between person and moon captures that really well. I think the vertical frame allowed us to rethink the way in which we were shooting things. Towards the ending, we have a long wide shot of our characters looking up and really just the way that the vertical frame plays that image, honing in just on our subjects and what they were looking up at. iPhone is made for running around and doing whatever you want to do. I'm very excited to use it for this too because I think it's going to really open people's eyes to realizing that you can do whatever you want with it. Using like the iPhone definitely got me to places where I couldn't get with the DSLR. If you just want to make like an animation, just because like you feel like it, I use the camera's like small size to kind of get in close into places. You can just slip it into a small phone underwater bag and be able to do whatever you want. Whereas if you're using a DSLR, you're having to put a cage and all the weight with a phone that you could carry it anywhere. You can do anything with it. As long as you're creative, you can DIY almost anything. For the ocean scene, I ended up using food coloring, and then I used a string and cotton balls to make the clouds. I feel like technology is definitely changing to where filmmaking is much more accessible. I love doing DIY. I think it's a good way for people to explore the lack of limits that come with filmmaking and making any type of art. Anything, literally anything works. And I just find it looks cooler and you feel prouder because you know you made something. You have to be very intentional, very purposeful. We had a lot of slides and a lot of, you know, tilts, pans handheld movement or steady movement. iPhone is just such a like transcendent device that you can pretty much pick it up and go. In general, I think giving people the ability to make movies is one of the biggest skills you can give them because they can tell their story, they can make content, they can make art. We can make any kind of story shot on an iPhone. I think it has the potential to make anything you want. There's nothing limiting you or stopping you. This is why this project is so great, because the more we push the shot on iPhone films, it'll open up more people's minds to the fact that they too can do it. It's incredibly easy, the quality is amazing, and I do hope that we get a diverse outcome from people using the phones more as a means of connecting with each other visually.